This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, April 30th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a very strong flare. It's an M flare come out of our favorite sunspot, AR3654. But of course, right? Noah is calling this again an M flare, a 9.53. As close to an X flare as you can get. On the chart, I get a reading of well it's a 9.53 as i will prove to you now all right over to space weather live you can see currently we're right below a c2 flare baseline there's a 55 percent chance of more m flares this would be our fourth m flare just today and we've actually moved up to having a 10 percent chance of an x flare occur of course, it was generated by our old friend that's not as complex as it was, but still very complex, AR3654. They're calling it a 94 here, a 953 above. Over to our GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager. Easy to see that X flare. It looks like it was directed at Earth almost perfectly. You can see it lights up like a star, and we know our geomagnetic rope or connection to the sun is from that limb, the far limb. And taking a quick look at HMI Intensogram, we see 3654 is trying to make its way around the limb. 3655 has been somewhat active, but is increased in complexity. Then we have AR3662, AR3663, AR3661, and I believe we have AR360 that we don't see on this chart. One of those big, enormous sunspots coming around the limb. And the smart money says that sunspot groups AR362, AR3663, and AR3661, along with AR3660 that has been named that we can't see here, are going to all increase in become more complex as they become more earth-facing as we usually see. Over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we can see that we're running that C2 baseline. There was a jump there, removed data, and this is the rather strong flare, almost an X flare. Look at the radio alternation here. It's occurred right over Y again. They're getting fried if they're in the Pacific. Also over parts of New Zealand and Indonesia, etc. And really even Japan and the peninsula in Russia. A very big blast that lasted a pretty good while. Meanwhile, headed over to NASA's Goodard is a spiral. We see that they have modeled nothing. They have a faint CME that you can see going in this direction here. And that's probably the plasma we saw coming out about 0, 0,100 UTC time this morning, or 0, 0,143 seconds UTC time this morning, uh, out of the 5 o'clock position on our star. With that said, the strongest flare we've seen in some time, at least for the last seven days. And we'll see, well, how that turns out. It probably will be geo-effective towards Earth. I will keep an eye out for a model coming out of NASA or the SDO Solar Dynamic Observatory and keep you updated. We are going live next with tornadoes. We have plenty on the ground and plenty that have already touched ground. God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world. God bless.